sometimes some things are going on out in the world that make you want to stay inside. Only to find something in a video game that makes you think, it can't be that bad out there, right? Today we're going to be diving into the top 10 strangest video game mysteries and discoveries that still remain unsolved to this day. Part 4. Stay safe, everyone. Emily wants to play. Hello? Pizza's here! Thanks to Dimension Man for submitting me this unsolved mystery from the 2016 survival horror game Emily Wants to Play. Oh god! Anyway, if you were to go through this door right at the beginning of the game and head into the bedroom, what is that? Moving right along. Since the game's release, this lamp has laid on its side with a light flickering overhead in the middle of the room, remaining rather inconspicuous, until the developer released an update in August 2016, mentioning in the patch notes he made something that no one ever found a little more noticeable. This time when players went to the lamp, now corresponding with the flickering flashes of light were a strange series of buzzing noises. Mark Zuckerberg on Steam, not the actual Mark Zuckerberg, posted about the observation on the game's discussion board and suggested that it was Morse code. And Sean Hitchcock, the developer himself, responded with only this. Despite fairly solid confirmation that the lamp or the flickering light have to do with something, no one knows what exactly that something is, making it a still unsolved discovery since the game released in 2016. Oh god, what the hell is that? Okay, I'm out of here before this gets any worse. Oh! Apex Legends. Thanks to the 785 for submitting this discovery to the odd header Reddit. Shortly after the recent release of Season 4 of Simulation, Redditor Sheepless Wolf was playing around on the New Planet Harvester addition to the map with his friends when suddenly they noticed something odd, as they saw what appeared to be a dog or a wolf running around on this walkway in the distance. And when they went up there, they found nothing but a player playing as Bangalore. This occurrence instantly sparked a number of theories online, the most popular being a potential teaser for the upcoming character of Loba, a character who was data mined from the file shortly after Apex's initial release, whose name also happens to translate to Wolf in Portuguese. Another theory was it was just another player in the game, most assumedly as Rafe, possibly Naruto running across the walkway. Though players such as YouTuber KevTheKing99 spent hours trying to recreate the exact angle of the footage and never once managed to to replicate anything close. We tried this so many times, at the end of the day, we could not get it. Seeing it in slow motion, I personally see rather convincing animation that moves exactly how I would expect someone to animate a dog's legs to move, which is really a tough thing to animate, so the idea that we ended up with that accidentally seems pretty strange to me. Intriguingly, shortly after this discovery was found, many players reported that after the find they could hear howling throughout the map, possibly adding some validity to the mystery. And while perhaps unrelated, Glacier0516 also recently submitted this footage to me that occurred on the training map shortly after the update, as he was playing alone when suddenly he was hit out of nowhere. My abilities don't work. I've been shot circuited. And then unexpectedly the entire map started to act strangely all around him at once. Glitches or not, there's definitely a lot of creepy, unexplainable things going on in the world of Apex Legends as of late. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis Thanks to Cyclone Joker for submitting this mystery through my website oddheader.com. A rather obscure and long-running mystery lies on this screen near the very beginning of the game. As players notice what appeared to be a strange random face in the corner of the screen. What the? If we were to invert the color of the image, we can see that it's, well, definitely a woman's face creepily staring us down from the sky above. Whether or not this was a mistake or intended has been a contentious debate amongst the Resident Evil community, as many are skeptical that the developers would somehow miss this in this kind of highly detailed pre-rendered background. I mean look, there's even a Capcom easter egg right here for the eagle-eyed player. Capcom being the publisher of the game. Stranger yet, this error wasn't ever corrected in any of the game's ports, including the Dreamcast and GameCube versions which provide a higher resolution image. A popular theory is this may be Regina from the Dino Crisis series, which is made by the same team as Resident Evil. And while I can definitely see that, especially with the red hair that appears before we invert the colors, whoever these mysterious eyes in the sky belong to remains a mystery, and we'll have to keep an eye out if any references are made in the upcoming remake. Only one thing we know for sure, she's always watching. 
What the Golf. 2019's What the Golf, released on Apple Arcade PC and soon the Nintendo Switch, is a game that definitely fulfills its title. Less a game about golf and more of an endless stream of random gameplay moments, What the Golf is a ride filled with countless easter eggs and head-scratching discoveries around every corner. One mystery I found while putting my way through the hub world was a series of coded messages that could be found on terminals throughout the game. Digging through the Apple Arcade subreddit, I found I wasn't the first person to notice this, as other Redditors discovered the codes were Morse and actually translated into many segmented messages. So far only Lady Gwen on Reddit has organized one of the messages into the assumed correct order, and found this message, Secret Blue Horses at WhatTheGolf.Basement. As of the publishing of this video, no one really knows what the secret blue horses are or where this basement is actually supposed to be, nor does anybody even know how to fully 100% the game. Unfortunately, it's going to be difficult solving these mysteries considering nothing makes sense in this game to begin with. South Park, the Stick of Truth Thanks to West Best Convergence for submitting this mystery to me through my website oddheader.com. South Park viewers may still remember Pip. Lunchy munchies? Like you. A once prominent character whose role was delegated to Butters after season 4, only receiving one speaking line his last 8 years on the series, until he finally spoke in 2010, and then was immediately squashed by Mecha Streisand. South Park fans questioned if this marked the true end of the character, eventually asking South Park Studios if Pip was actually dead, who only responded with, he looked pretty dead to me. Yet, bizarrely, data miners found in the Stick of Truth an eerie discovery when combing through the files of the game, as they came across Pip's skull in the files rendered with two creepy glowing eyes. And thanks to Sukiera on my Discord who helped with additional research, it turns out Pip's skull is categorized as a weapon, meaning beating enemies with the demon-possessed skull of a murdered boy is a feature that's no longer in the game, which would probably sound a lot more disturbing if I wasn't talking about South Park. Grand Theft Auto V Grand Theft Auto V has a number of ongoing mysteries, from Mount Chiliad, mysterious lights, or even this window that sprays blood that hasn't been patched out of the game despite numerous reports about it to Rockstar. Odd. Intriguingly, another mystery recently cropped up through the Casino Heist update, as players could interact with the Madame Nazar fortune machine, who's also a character players can sell collectibles to in Red Dead Online. Players noticed it would eventually provide a random series of numbers, which when rearranged turned out to be a same set of numbers that could be found in Red Dead Redemption 2, as it could be heard from an unseen mysterious woman chanting inside a random outhouse that could be found in the forest. One, two, three, seven, six, Another mystery four, players have five. scratched their heads over since the game's release in 2018. After obtaining all the numbers from the machine, it was found that the numbers were plugged into the player's phone. They would receive this especially cryptic message from Nazar herself. You were looking for me? Yes. The future is open to me. Safe travels. Whatever the hell that means. No one has found a deeper meaning behind the numbers or its connection between the two games. And also, I want to mention yet another really creepy unsolved mystery that still remains in Red Dead Redemption 2, as players discovered if they went into the depraved town of Butcher Creek at exactly 4 a.m. and peered underneath this exact house at just the right angle, they could see an ominous glowing red pentagram illuminating from beneath the floor below. And that's all anybody's got. No clues or connections to anything in the game have yet to surface. The only theory anybody has is that it may just explain why everybody in Butcher Creek is an asshole. You son of a bitch. Alright, simmer down. Destiny 2. Thanks to Orrin Gabriel Bush for submitting this mystery through oddheader.com. In September 2018, Bungie introduced the Last Wish Raid, where players discovered when they came to this door, if they instead decided to end it all and jump off of this cliff, they could find this hidden path that led to what is now known as the Wall of Wishes. By shooting precise combinations of patterns onto the wall, players would unlock random rewards, such as snazzy head ornaments, a Paul McCartney song, and confetti headshots known as Grunt Birthday Party, which also appeared in the Halo series. With extensive efforts across the Raid Secrets community on Reddit, players found 14 different combinations of prizes from the wall, 
However, data miners managed to find an unfound 15th which still existed inside the wall waiting to be found, with the description even saying, this one you shall cherish. A clue was seemingly found for the missing 15th wish when players noticed a reference in an in-game book. Explained that they reached level 999 and defeated Duel and Karu, they'd unlock the true ending of Dreaming City. Dreaming City just happening to be the area that holds the Wall of Wishes. At that time, players had to wait a whole year for hitting level 999 to even be possible in the game. And when player Bagel4k finally managed to hit level 999 in November 2019 and defeated Duel and Karu once and for all, Jack Squat happened. Not with Wish 15, not with anything at all. Later, Bungie sent Bagel4k a personal message with some cryptic ciphers that seemed to hold some new clues that could tie into the Wall of Wishes. But at that point, the damage had already been done. Not cool, Bungie. Not cool. Metal Gear Solid. Thanks to Metal Ray for submitting this crazy mystery through my Discord server. To start, the Metal Gear series is actually one of the first video games to feature virtual reality as a plot point. In game and lore, the series characters use VR in order to prepare for real life scenarios in the field. Virtual reality also serves as the backdrop for training mode in the first Metal Gear Solid, where the player just like the characters can learn the game's mechanics before going into the field. Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty up the ante with VR even further, playing with virtual reality so much in its story, partnered with the fact the game was somehow more bizarre than the first game. Many were sure that a twist was coming that was going to reveal that the whole game was a VR simulation. Except that never happened. And some players still aren't convinced. A major breakthrough in the theory was seemingly found when players unearthed an interesting discovery in the first Metal Gear Solid. As players found when they were in the Metal Gear Bay and zoomed all the way up in the corner of this room, they could see what appeared to be one of the VR targets that doesn't actually appear anywhere else in the main story, as they're only supposed to appear in the VR training mode. For many, this discovery blew the virtual reality case wide open. Is this just a misplaced game asset that somehow ended up in a viewable portion of the map? Or is it rather what many others believe it to be? A cryptically placed clue that suggests that the entirety of Metal Gear Solid was just a simulation. Some even go in as far to say that the whole game was just raided in a VR program protocol before his character was randomly introduced and took over the story of Metal Gear Solid 2. Does this prove that Hideo Kojima planned an elaborate conspiracy from the very start of the series that would change the whole context of the entire series with this single discovery? Honestly, being that this is Hideo Kojima, yeah, I believe it. Elite Dangerous Thanks to Commander Kohei X for submitting this mystery through oddheader.com. The Elite series is known for being one of the longest running and largest open-ended games, with the newest game Elite Dangerous actually being a one-to-one -one scale of the Milky Way Galaxy. This mystery actually begins with the first installment in the series all the way back in 1984, as the game came with a book that made mention of a mysterious Raxla, a planet that supposedly holds a gateway to all the other universes, and was once seized by a secret organization who continues to hide its existence to this day. Back in the day, this led many to believe that Raxla was somewhere in the 1984 game, which the developers of that game iterated many times was not actually the case. However, the developers of 2014's Elite Dangerous sing a much different tune, as they've been very vocal that Raxla does exist somewhere in Elite Dangerous, except it still hasn't been found. Weirdly, in 2018, a Redditor posted what appeared to be pre-release images of a mysterious creature known as Thargoids. Even weirder, every time this Redditor posted these images, they were removed from the Elite Dangerous subreddit, leading people to believe they were either faked or actually held credibility and could have even been from an ex-developer. When other members questioned this Redditor, he revealed that the location of Raxla was tied to the Founder's world. At one point, this location had a mission to transport a mysterious SAP-8 core containers that no one had ever seen before. And then, even stranger still, these missions were swiftly removed from the game. Assumedly because the developers felt it brought players a little too close to the secret of Raxla. Unfortunately, looks like players are going to have to find Raxla the hard way, considering it takes a ship traveling at light speed 200,000 years to travel the distance of the Milky Way, which again, Elite Dangerous is the scale of. I'm not holding my breath anyone's going to find Raxla anytime soon. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. 
If you know of any other mysteries that I failed to mention in this video or any of the other videos in this series, submit to oddheader.com, come join the discord, leave a comment down below, or even send me a shout on Twitter or Reddit. Shout out to Arizona T, Dead Plastic, Decider 12, Down With System D, Flex, Jonathan A. All Ornelas, Rage Spot, Riley S, Select, Towerizer, Up With System D, and Wade Murdoch for their Patreon support. Stay tuned.